manipulating complex numbers. So if x is equal to 4 plus 5i, 5i, and y is equal to 3 minus 4i, we want to write these three as complex numbers. Okay, okay. Uh, so if two, if two numbers are complex number, uh, when you manipulate the complex number, the final answer should be complex number. So, in fact, any number is a complex number. So I'll not go into those now. So you want to find x minus 2y. So this is simply simple uh, algebraic manipulation. So you put x as 4 plus 5i. You can also understand this is in a vector form, but we'll do it in an algebraic way. So y times 3 minus 4i. We will simply manipulate, expand this. Okay, so and so let's first expand this. So this is 4 plus 5i as it is. Minus 6 uh, plus 8i. Plus 8i. Now, in the complex number, you've got two parts. One is a real and the other is the imaginary. So this is on the real, this is a real part and this is the imaginary part. So when you are simplifying or manipulating complex numbers and adding or subtracting, you add the comp a real part to the real part and the complex part to the complex part. So this has to be grouped like this. So this is 4 minus 6. So this is the real part plus you can write 5i plus 8i. 5i plus 8i, which is minus 2 plus 13i. First, we'll do this algebraically without a calculator, and then we will check the answer on the calculator. So this is the answer. x minus 2y is equal to minus 2 plus 13i. So let's check this on the calculator. So there's a, if you have a graphic calculator, there's an option of complex number in the run menu. So if you go to option and F3, which is complex number, and you've got an I option. So let me put this for, we want to find X minus two I. So you can just enter four plus five I. Calculator will do this, but I want you to uh, know how calculator works. So your Y is three minus four I. So I'll put three, minus 4i. As a student of maths, you should know how to do this without a calculator. So this is the answer, minus 2 plus 3i. Okay, the next question is b, which is x times y. x, y, which is x times y. So this is a simple expanding of brackets. So this is phi, 4 plus 5i times <coughs> 3 minus 4i. So let's expand this using FOIL. So 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 times minus 4i is minus 16i. 5i times 3 is plus 15i. And 5i phi, phi times minus 4i is minus 20i squared. Now you have to stop. Now i, by definition, you should know is square root of negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. So whenever you have i squared, you should this should come to your mind that i squared is nothing but minus 1. So let's simplify this. So this is, you can simplify this. So this is 12 uh, minus i minus 20 times negative 1. So which is 12 minus i plus 20, which is, now you can add the real part to the real part, so 12 plus 20 minus i, so the final answer is 30 minus i, and that's your answer. So let's check it on a calculator. So, so you can type in 4 plus 5i, bracket 3 minus 4i just like that, and you'll get the answer, 32 minus i, 32, yeah, oh, sorry, so yeah, 12 plus 30 is, 12 plus 20 is not 30, this is 32 minus i, so good to check, okay, 32 minus i is the answer. Okay, the next question is, 
x squared. Okay, so let me use a different color. C is x squared, which is 4 plus 5i times 4 plus 5i. This is x squared. And so let's spoil this out. So this is 16 plus 20i plus 20i plus 25i squared. So I'm writing, treating this directly as minus 25. So 16 minus 25, 16 minus 25 is negative 9 plus 40i. So let's check this on a calculator. So uh, let me scroll it away. So this is 4 plus 5i bracket 4 plus 5i just like that which is minus 9 plus 40i okay and finally you got x divided by y you got let me use blue your d is x divided by y and this is slightly here yeah, you have to do a trick okay so we know x plus x is 4 plus 5i divided by your y is your y is 3 minus 4i 3 minus 4i now when you're dividing complex number to simplify the denominator or rationalize the denominator you multiply by the conjugate of the denominator so the conjugate of the denominator is 3 plus 4i this is a skill or this is a technique to rationalize the denominator to get a neat number in the denominator so when you simply when you expand the denominator, you'll get a neat number. So if you multiply the denominator by 3 plus 4i, you have to multiply the numerator by 4 plus, sorry, 3 plus 4i. So basically this is nothing but 1. So this is 4 plus 5i times 3 plus 4i over 3 minus 4i times 3 plus 4i. So I think you can do the algebraic man manipulation. I'll use the calculator in this stage. I think you can understand them how to do it. So let me cancel it. So I'll go 4 plus 5i. As students, I would like you to do it without the calculator. 3 plus 4i. So I'll do one step at a time. So I'm doing simplifying the numerator, which is minus 8 plus 30, 31i. This is minus 8 plus 31i divided by, this would be 9 minus 16i squared. So let me show you that. Dif using difference of two squares, but if you don't know that, you can also use a calculator. 4, 3 minus 4i bracket 3 plus 4i. Use, so this will be 9 minus 16i squared. And 9 minus, so let me write, explain how they got 25. This, when you simplify this, when you expand this, you'll get 9 minus 16i squared. And i squared is negative 1, so this is 9 minus 16 times negative 1, which is 9 plus 16, which is 25. And that's what I told you. You get a neat denominator. So this is divided by 25. Now this is not in a, comp in a complex number form, so you need to tidy this up and write. So this is minus 8 over 25 plus 31 over 25i. So this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So if you want to, so this is enough, so this is your final answer.